Hey, what's going on YouTube? I device help here. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade your iPhone 4, your iPhone 3GS, and your iPod Touch 4th generation from iOS 6.1.3 down to 6.1.2 or lower, as long as you saved your SH blobs. And now this is only for the iPhone 4, 3GS, and iPod Touch 4th generation. All of those guys that are waiting for the newer devices, once that video is available, I'll make sure to bring it to you guys the, immediately as it becomes available. Now, uh, the only way this works is if your SH blocks were saved. A lot of people always ask, how do you save your SH blocks or how do I even know if I have my SH blocks saved? First, let's go ahead and jump into settings. Go ahead and demonstrate this iPod Touch is not jailbroken to iOS 6.1.3. Let's go into general, about, and there it is, 6.1.3. So let's go ahead and begin the process. Now, um, like I said, you must save your SH blobs, and if you did uh, jailbreak in the past, most likely you do have your SH blobs. What you want to do is you want to download this application here, Tiny Umbrella. You're going to need Tiny Umbrella, and I'll have a link to Tiny Umbrella in the video description down below. You'll also need Red Snow, and you'll also need a software version of the software that you want to downgrade to. So first, you want to launch Tiny Umbrella. If you don't know if you have your SH blobs saved, you want to go ahead and select your device from the column section there on the left. And you want to go to advance. All right. Now you want to scroll down here and click on SH Blobs, request SH Blobs from Cydia. Then we're going to go back to general. All right. And then you're going to click up top here, save SH Blobs. Now what this is going to do is going to request any SH Blob files that are saved to Cydia servers. That way you know which iOS versions you can downgrade to. Now, for example, my iPod Touch 4th generation here, as you can see, uh, it has uh, SH Blob saves all the way from uh, 5.0 to 6.1.2. So I'm going to be downgrading from 6.1.3 to 5.1.1. Now you can also downgrade from 1. Point, or 6.1.2 and lower or 6.0 and lower. As long as you have your SH Blobs, you can keep going down the scale as long as you are going down iOS versions, as long as you have your SH Blob saved. For, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be demonstrating it from 6.1.3 to 5.1.1. Uh, so let's go ahead and begin. Now, that way you know if you have your SH Blob saved. So here I do have my SH Blobs. Again, I'll have the application Tiny Umbrella in the video description down below, along with a website where you can download your IPSW that you want to downgrade to. And also a copy of Red Snow, the one I'm using in this video. So make sure your device is connected to the computer. Now this works the same for Windows and Mac, so this tutorial is the same. Now for uh, Windows users, make sure you right click on Red Snow and make sure you tick uh, Run as Administrator. That way it runs perfectly for your device. So you want to go ahead and launch Red Snow. First step is to click the Extra. Then you want to hit the Even More button here in the bottom. Then you want to click Restore. Now you want to go ahead and hit IPSW, and I'm going to select 5.1.1 because this is the uh, software that I want to downgrade to, and I do have the SH Blobs, so I'm going to go ahead and select that one. Okay, so hit OK. It's going to bring you to put your device in DFU mode. Now we're going to follow the steps here by Red Snow. You're going to power off your device. You can read these instructions here on the, uh, on the screen from Red Snow when you try it yourself. Go ahead and wait for the device to power off. And once we hit this next button, we're going to hold the power button for three seconds. Then we're going to join it with the home. And then we'll keep holding down the home button for the remaining of the process. So it's going to begin. One, two, three. Now both buttons. And as you can see there on the screen, the instructions from Red Snow. Really, really simple to do this. And then you're going to release the power button when it tells you to. And we're going, only going to hold down the home button at this point. I know most of you guys already know how to do this, but in case there's new uh, people to the jailbreak community that do not know how to do this process, I always like to put it on video for you guys. So now the process has begun, as you can see here. Alright, do not release the home button until Red Snow tells you it's okay to continue with the process. As you can see, I'm still holding down the home button. Alright, so once you get to this step here where your device is uh, got the progress logo of uh, the progressing screen here starting the process, you can go ahead and release the home button at that at this point. I'm gonna set the device here aside and let Red Snow continue with the process. 
All right, so now it's done restoring system image. Uh, the process is almost halfway through. All right, so the verification process has completed. Now, if Retina was to ask you where do you want to use your SH blast from, there's two buttons here, local and remote. Just click remote. All right, if Retina was to ask you before beginning the process where you wanted to use your SH blast from, because remote basically tells Retina to go to CDS servers and obtain your SH blobs. So now uh, we're about um, 75% through the process here. As you can see, the device uh, Retina is working on its own. So let's go ahead and wait for that. And now we got the successful restore to iOS 5.1.1 uh, to uh, this iPod Touch 4th generation. Now, again, this only supports the iPhone 4, 3GS, and iPod Touch 4th generation, which is the device that I'm using on this video. But for those of you that are waiting for the newer devices downgrade, please be patient. Once the video becomes available, I'll let you guys know immediately. Remember, I, I will have all the links to all the downloads on the video description down below, so you can download your IPSW or your software that you want to downgrade to. You can download Tiny Umbrella, which is the famous application to save your SH blobs, and then of course Red Snow, which is the best tool for downgrading and also jailbreaking iOS devices. Let's go ahead and uh, go through the uh, setup process here on this iPod Touch. And now uh, just click Start Using iPod. And as you can see now, I got the uh, original YouTube application back on there. I also have the Google Maps that everybody uh, loved about iOS. And these are some of the reasons people may want to downgrade their iOS devices for those that might ask. Uh, you can get old software that, it's, that was really nice on the iOS devices. Let's go into settings, go back to general, and about. And there it is, 5.1.1 from iOS 6.1.3. Again, this works from 6.1.2 and lower, and uh, you can keep going down iOS versions as long as you have SH blobs and downgrade all the way to uh, iOS 5.0 with the same process. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please thumbs up. I really do appreciate it, guys, when you do thumbs up my video. And if you have any questions at all, leave a comment down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And of course, don't forget to stay up to date with the latest information on your iOS device by going to iDeviceHelpUs.blogspot.com. It's been iDevice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.